In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send files from your Mac to your iPhone. The first thing we need to do is to enable the AirDrop functionality on both of our devices so we can send files. To enable AirDrop on our iPhone, the first thing you need to do is to head over into the settings application and from here you want to scroll down and find general and click into that. From here you want to find the AirDrop setting and click into that. Now we just need to enable AirDrop to contacts only or everyone for 10 minutes but in this case I'm going to leave it on contacts only and once you've done this you can exit out to the home screen. To enable the AirDrop setting on our Mac we first need to head over to the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and then you want to click on system settings. Once you're inside your system settings you want to click on general on the left hand side menu and from here you want to find AirDrop and handoff and you want to click into that. Now you want to make sure the AirDrop has been toggled on at the very top and where it says the AirDrop setting below that you want to click in the drop down menu and select contacts only or you can select everyone but in this case I'm going to select contacts only. Now we've done this we can exit out of the settings application and we just need to start transferring files from our Mac to our iPhone. For this example I'm going to transfer this W8 form from my Mac to my iPhone. To do this you want to right click on the file you want to transfer and in the contacts menu you want to select the share option. Once the share menu appears you may see your iPhone in this list here. However if you don't you want to select the airdrop setting just below and in the airdrop box it will list all of the nearby devices including your iPhone. So you want to select the iPhone and it's immediately going to send that file over to your iPhone. So if we head over to our iPhone, as you can see we have immediately started receiving the file and it's going to automatically open up in the file application because it is a PDF file. However, if this is a photo or video file, it's going to automatically open up in the photos library. And that's how you transfer files from your Mac to your iPhone. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.